This video starts on page 21 in that 5E packet, computing actual lengths from a scale drawing. So we know, and I love this triangle thing, when you have three variables, you can put them in this triangle if they have a proportional relationship. So we know that y equals k times x. y equals k times x. Well, in a scale drawing, the drawing is equal to the scale times the real life thing. So the y, the drawing, equals the scale factor, which we've been working on, k, times the real life thing, which is the x. Or if we want to know what's the scale factor, we can solve our little triangle, what's k? k is equal to y divided by x k equals y divided by x, or y divided by x equals k. I say y over x equals k. So our scale factor k is equal to the drawing, which we're going to call y, over x, which is the um, real life thing, the actual. So the drawing over the actual, or the um, object, um, sometimes I call that the object actual over the scaled item or the drawing, it's usually, or the model, for instance, it could be the model, it could be a drawing, so on and so forth. Okay, so K can be a scale or a scale factor. Hint, um, K is often a fraction, we've seen that, sometimes it's not though, the scale factor could be three times bigger. You can also, to find that missing length, set up a course, um, a proportion. Set the scale, whatever they give you as the scale, 1 to 12, for instance, equal to the drawing over the real life. So always put the scale on the left side of the equal sign. So if they say, for instance, it's a 1 to 12 scale factor, or um, the scale is 1 12th of the size of the real railroad or rail car or model car or whatever, then put the drawing, the object, over the model. And I, I sometimes also say model over object or drawing over the real life thing. So with that in mind, let's go to the next page. Maps and floor plans. So if you looked at the building Martha Brown's floor plan, you could see that this classroom, where it is on the map. We have a map in our classroom. You can look at it. Well, of course, our building's way bigger than that map. So maps and floor pan, plans are examples of scale drawings. Sizes and scale drawings are usually smaller than the actual sizes. Yes, if you look at the map of the, of the classroom, it's very small compared to how big our classroom is. However, if you sketch something that you're observing in a microscope, that thing's really tiny. And if you want to draw it out like a sow, your measurements will be greater than the actual measurement. So we have a map sitting here in front of us. Example one. On the map below, one centimeter, and you can see Here's the scale right here. One centimeter is equal to 84 kilometers. What is the air distance between Loop, Lubbock, I think it's Lubbock, Texas, and Abilene? So we have to use our proportion to answer this question. One centimeter, like it said on the last page there, the very last thing says, scale compared to corresponding size. So my scale is one centimeter to 84 kilometers. Now, I can leave it centimeters and kilometers. I'm not trying to reduce it. I'm making a proportion with it. So that's okay that they're not both centimeters. So I need to use my ruler now. And if you have a ruler with you while you're watching the video, uh, that would be great. Follow along with me. I'm going to take my ruler, and I have to measure from Lubbock to Abilene. This takes a little while with, you know, getting the right angle and so forth. So I have that it's about, I move it up a little bit, it's about three and, if I'm looking right here, about three and four tenths centimeters. So I'm going to say that, oh, on here it is, but I measured it on my paper. So because this is projecting on the wall, it's bigger. But if you actually have a ruler, and are measuring it, oh, this ruler is not going to really help us. The one on your paper is three centimeters. With a, um, in 
on the real paper. Now see, this is projected, so it actually projects it a little bit bigger. Didn't know that. Um, and I didn't realize the projection is an actual one-to-one. -one. It's not projecting it exactly how it is on this paper. So on the paper, it is actually three centimeters. So if you multiply by three, right, I'm going to do the equivalent ratio way of doing this rather than, you know, drawing in the big bubbles and cross multiplying and dividing. Now, what's 84 times three? So 84 times three is about 252 kilometers is that answer. Okay, um, down below this, use the map above, round to the nearest five kilometers. Okay, what is the air distance from Midland to Texas? Midland to Texas. Okay, so I know my scale is one centimeter is 84 kilometers. So I have to use my ruler and measure this. And again, um, we, I found out that it's going to be different because, so I, I'm going to tell you what I actually measured on the paper, but I'm going to use this, you know, just to show you. Whoops, no, I just want to move this. So I'm doing Midland to Dallas. So actually on my paper, it's six and four tenths. But this is showing about seven and three tenths. I'm going to use the six and four tenths. Look what that scale is. Figure out that scale. It's seven and, what did we say? So it's seven and three tenths. If I answered it that way, what's 84 times seven and three tenths? If you want to figure that out, you can get a bonus point tomorrow. So one centimeter goes to really six and four tenths centimeters. 84 kilometers would go, so times 6 and 4 tenths, and I did a calculator, um, used a calculator, 537 and 6 tenths kilometers is the answer for that one. Um, which city on the map is about 285 kilometers from Fort Worth? Hmm. Well, 1 centimeter is 84 kilometers. So from Fort Worth, 285 kilometers would be how many centimeters away using our scale? So 285 divided by 84 will tell me what they multiplied by, right? So if you did 285 divided by that 84, you would get that it's about, and you know, it says to the nearest five kilometers, 3.39285714, three, that, 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 keeps going, right? So I'm going to say, I'm going to round this up a little bit to about three and four tenths. So I, I need three and four tenths centimeters, approximately, three and four tenths centimeters. Now my rule is going to be off a little bit because of the projection. So i got to figure out what's about three and four tenths centimeters away from Austin. Austin. I mean, from Fort Worth. Oh, I already know it's Austin. I figured that out already. Oh, I gave it away. Um, so if I put it on Fort Worth and then I swing this ruler down, yeah, that's about the same. Austin is the capital. That's why it's got the star there. It's the capital of. Texas. So, yeah, that's about the same ratio. So, what is it's it's it is Austin, the capital. It's Austin. A plane flies from San Angelo to Houston and then on to Galveston. San Angelo to Houston to Galveston. About how far does it travel in all? So, San Angelo to Houston. That's about six and five tenths centimeters. And my ruler's off, so I'm not going to actually show you on that. But this is what they're asking us. San Angelo to Houston to Gaveston. So I got this was about six and five tenths centimeters. And Houston to Galveston was about one centimeter. And you can use a ruler and check that out. So 
Houston to Galveston's about one. So right, we have a total of seven and a half centimeters. So one centimeter using our scale is 84 kilometers in Texas, which is huge. Um, so seven and a half centimeters to, okay, so I have to multiply by seven and a half. 84 times seven and a half is 630 kilometers. So the answer is 630 kilometers. And we're going to use rulers. So when you come in tomorrow, pick up a ruler. We're going to use um, scales and proportions and rulers to figure out computing actual lengths from a scale drawing. And that's it for today's video.